Today there's a lot of competition with pharmacies and the income that's generated out of their veterinary hospital from the pharmacy income side. Um, and what we're finding is that uh, practices really need to protect their pharmacy income. Um, when we think about veterinary medicine and the way that veterinarians in their practices uh, make money, basically um, that income becomes very important. It's made up of about a third of the total income that comes from most practices. And the, on the cost side, with the cost structure of most veterinary hospitals, we're finding that um, when we deal with a fixed cost environment for, for most practices uh, and the fact that most practices' main costs are fixed, the majority of their costs are fixed, rent, utilities, insurance, um, that those costs aren't going to disappear when pharmacy income uh, it may not be generated through the hospital. And so we're asking, uh, we're asking hospitals to protect their pharmacy income to really uh, look at it as something they want to fight for, continue to maintain, because if that pharmacy income wasn't generated through the hospital, that uh, those fixed costs would still remain. And how are those fixed costs going to get paid if that pharmacy income and the profit from those pharmacy items is actually not uh, made by the practice? Um, and so it's important, I think, to maintain that pharmacy income for just that reason. When I think about practices and the amount of uh, money that's made in different segments of practice. Um, there are some segments of practice that are more profitable than others, and so we need some of those profit centers to make up for some of the areas in our hospital that are not, that are not quite as profitable as uh, others. And pharmacy happens to be, on a, at least a per square foot basis, a very profitable center for most hospitals. And so we know if that income was not still being generated out of the hospital, that that would have an impact on our ability to pay those fixed costs, as we were talking about previously. And so um, it becomes extremely important to maintain that. My thought here is that if we're not generating that pharmacy income and we let it run out the door from the competitive nature, um, then how will that impact what we might have to charge for the remainder of our services in order to cover those fixed costs? Um, so veterinarians need to really fight for that income. You know, one of the big issues out there right now, one of the big problems that you know, I hear a lot when I do lectures is the internet pharmacies and how do we combat them, how do we deal with them. Well, you know, when you study business management, one of the things you always do is you look at what are the competitive advantages of one business versus the other. So I'd like you to think about that a moment and let's kind of analyze that. What is the competitive advantage that a internet pharmacy has over a private veterinary hospital? hospital. Well, number one, I think most people will say price. But the reality is, if you actually go on one of the internet pharmacies all the way to the point of ship it to me, I think you're going to find out more times than not the internet pharmacy is actually more expensive than the veterinary practice. Now, they advertise themselves to be cheaper, but the reality is they, they really are not. So price, uh-uh, not a competitive advantage. Okay, next, what, what would be the other competitive advantages? Well, maybe the internet pharmacy would send it to some, uh, you know, buddy's house to the, the client's home, well, can you do that? Sure you can. Put it in the mail, you know, get UPS to send it. Um, competitive advantage gone, boom, not there. Um, what other competitive advantage do they have? Um, advertising? Yeah, okay, but again, a lot of that is deceptive advertising. Betty White, <laughs> yep, they have Betty White. Um, but the reality is they really don't have you know, a competitive advantage over you. So let's go to the other side of the coin. Let's see what a veterinary hospital has going for it. Number one, you have a relationship with that client. They know you, um, you know, the client trusts you. We've seen that pet before. We know other medications that that animal is on. I think that's a big competitive advantage. Number two, um, we um, have that client right there in front of us. So if they do need that product right then and there, boom, they can get it. Um, number three, we know other medications that that pet is on. So if it would be improper for them to get this medication, it might cause some medical uh, problems, we would be aware of that. And then think about this, um, if there is a problem, three o'clock in the morning, who are they gonna call? Internet pharmacy or you? They're gonna call you. Now the other advantage that internet pharmacies have is that somebody can get up three o'clock in the morning, go to their computer in their pajamas and order a product. Well, if you had a shop site on your website, you could do the same thing. Competitive advantage gone. Bottom line, internet pharmacies should not be growing the way they are. They should not be getting the, the sales that they are if veterinarians choose to be competitive. So what do you need to do? 
I think you need to get a shop site on your website. We can send products directly to the client either through that website or you can do it through your own practice and educate your clients about the difference. If let's say that pet gets heartworm medication and if they get it through the internet pharmacy and if that uh, dog comes down with heartworm, uh, the company's not going to pay for it, but if they got it through you, the licensed veterinarian, they would. That's another competitive advantage. So if clients knew the difference, I think internet pharmacies would be out of business. But instead, I think a lot of veterinarians are playing dead. They're just signing those requests when they come over the internet or over the, um, the fax machine, and that's not what I would recommend that you do. So let's wake up, let's be competitive, and let's uh, take the competitive advantage away from the internet pharmacies and put it where it belongs, and that's in your corner.